Hi there. I want to show you how to activate tuning forks using a couple of different kinds of activators. When you buy a tuning fork, if it's a weighted one, you can activate it on your hand or your hip or the side of your knee, but that can get old and if you bruise easily, it's probably something you don't even want to try. So we have a couple of different activators that we use. And uh, the first one is this striker block. So this is designed so that it can sit on a table or that you can hold it in your hand. And this is best for the weighted forks. Here's a weighted fork right here. And I find that just bumping a fork up against this ridge like this up towards the top of the fork, and you can explore even the middle of the fork works so that you can hold it in one hand and bump it in the other. You can also set it on a, on a firm tabletop or a counter that if it's not gonna bounce around, then you can activate it there as well. So it's super handy. Now, you can also activate the weighted forks with a hockey puck. And we use the hockey puck to activate the unweighted forks, which I'll get to next. But the hockey puck has a um, sort of a scored or ruffled kind of edge and so does the edge of the tuning fork. So you can activate a weighted fork with a hockey puck, like striking a match. This is one of my favorite ways to use it, where you just slide the rough parts against each other, just like you were holding a matchbook and a match. You just slide it right down the side. And this, is, this gives you a lot of vibration, but not a lot of noise. Because if you try to do it like that, you get the dunk. <laughs> Whereas if you just, graze it, you get a nice vibration. So it takes a little practice, but give it a try. Okay, and then as far as the unweighted forks, sometimes these come with mallets or other strikers. I've tried a lot of different things, and personally I find that Canadian hockey pucks are really the best. And there's a number of ways that you can do this too, but I'm just gonna show you what I've found to be the easiest, which is to hold your hockey puck kind of like a Frisbee, so I'm gripping it underneath and I'm holding and I'm exposing the side. And this is the contact point right here. So you just, and with these, it's always a good idea to stop them before you restrike them. Otherwise you can end up with a cacophony of overtones. So you see how quick and easy that was. It's just a little bump and you want to hold the fork. Don't grip it too tightly. Don't grip this too tightly and you'd be all stiff. And just kind of hold it loosely and hold it loosely and just bounce it off. And somewhere around in here is the best area. So it works for that was the uh, 174. This is the 528. And you get a really nice, long, clear, bright, sustained ring when you bounce it off a hockey puck. Now, there are other hockey pucks that are more plastic and they give you kind of a think sound. So make sure that uh, you've got rubber ones. We sell them, um, vetted ones at the Biofield Tuning Store. So again, just a nice, easy, quick bounce. And you'll get the kind of tone that you wanna have to work with. All right, enjoy.